Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. So today, we are going to be selling off the corn that we have uh, built up from our harvest here. And we're going to see how much money we can make off of it. So we are going to go ahead and get loaded up here. I forgot to turn on the hopper. Oh well. Alright. So there is our first load. Um, we're just going to be taking this over to the dairy farm where we have the um, placeable cell point thing. Soybeans. Man. Wish we were had soybeans yet. That price is even going up still. So the price for corn has gone down at uh, the sell point but uh, it is still I'm pretty sure it's still the highest pain place yep even with the uh, great demand at Suncor it's still uh, the highest um, so this is the last video that will be should be the last video that's uh, off schedule for a while now uh, hopefully but uh, there are going to be some changes to the lineup of equipment that I'm planning to buy. Uh, I just downloaded a whole bunch of new stuff. So going to be getting a bit different of a cultivator. Um, a bit different combine and headers. And a uh, different corn planter. So going to be making some changes. But um, whoops wrong button. Nothing that's too major or anything, um, but I will be making some changes to that list of equipment that we'll be buying. I don't have the items in game yet, uh, or in my mods folder yet. I actually like just finished downloading them before I started recording, um, and I have a couple that I'm going to be doing some fixing to, or not so much fixing, but uh, some changing to and then we may be buying quite a few things out of that okay so now my steering wheel isn't jerking to the left side so much I don't know why but it seems like every time like I play for the first time in a day I have to crank my steering wheel all the way to one side and then crank it all the way over to the other side and then it because you know, like now it's staying straight but a lot of times it'll want to keep doing that while I'm driving and it gets rather annoying so yeah tomorrow we'll sell the wheat and then Saturday we will be uh, hauling and selling equipment Oops, I don't want to turn here. Uh, we'll be hauling and selling equipment that we're going to be trading in. And then Sunday we'll be buying and hauling the new equipment. And then Monday we'll be switching over to the updated version of the map. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm thinking of for the next few days. And then next week we'll be... Uh, well, Monday we'll probably start some spring tillage. Because that's what we'll be, you know, set up for, so to speak. Because uh, when we start the new save game on the new map, uh, or the updated version of the map, it will be set back to the first day of spring. So uh, I'm undecided if I want to run six days or nine days for my season's lengths. Um, I'm probably just going to stick to the nine, I guess. That's kind of seeming kind of seems all right yeah you can see my steering wheel is just keeps going to the left side for whatever reason cheaply made steering wheel made out of plastic for those that don't know I use the SciTech steering wheel and side panel and in reality I could have just sold 
this placeable cell point and placed it again somewhere closer to the farm, but oh well. I don't mind driving. Can definitely tell that the wagon has a dirt skin on it now, as it is uh, starting to get dirty. Definitely doesn't take long to fill this gravity wagon with that auger, that's for sure. Alright, and here we are. So, let's go ahead and get selling. this up to see how much we make we made 21,959 and what did our price drop to 826 that's still better than everything else so I think we'll be able to sell let's see I think we have a couple more loads of corn so I think we'll be able to sell one more load here before the price tanks enough that we could just as well go to Suncor uh, Energy because I'm guessing another load or two maybe but Suncor is just down there that's just south of the farm well a little, a little south and a little east of the farm uh, and the Bobcats still sitting there uh, no I haven't moved it yet I do need to move that before uh, we move over to the other map so that way it is in the garage like it should be uh, on the new save game kind of funny seeing the uh, reflection there of basically everything that's inside put onto the front windshield there. So does this, uh, does this have, okay. It does have the, uh, never really paid attention before if it had the 17 driver or not I know there's a couple of mods that I have that still have the uh, their original FS 13 um, driver in them or like it's just just the you know just the driver it doesn't actually function you know, like it doesn't move or move its arms and hands like 17 and 15 drivers do. And also, the 17 driver just um, it uh, uh, you can choose what it's like as well. Whether it's guy, girl, what color it wears. Which it, which it is kind of neat that you can choose what color shirt your uh, character wears now. I'm not exactly sure how many loads we have that we can pull out of here I don't remember what it was how many loads we hauled in I want to say it was like four or something but I could be wrong pretty sure it was like three or four or something like that 
maybe even five. I don't think it was five though. My guess is like three or four. I don't remember. It's been so long now since. Well, no. It wasn't that long ago that I finished corn. But I just. I don't remember. It has been a long day, so. I don't remember. It's very well what we did two days ago. Or. Yeah, it was two days ago that I did that, I think. I don't know. My mind is uh, a little blank. So 49,000, so there should be, I think, one more load. Or full load, anyways. And then another partial load. Because this holds... What? Why did it stop? from the trigger. Oops. Okay, so it's full. Now we can see how just how much it has in it. 23,000 so yeah we should have one more full load I think and there's gonna be like a little bit of a load So I know in other videos I've had, you know, where like I'm driving, you know, like I'm selling my grain and a great demand comes up for one of the crops that I'm selling. And let's say that elevator is clear on the other side of the map. Kind of like it was when we sold the soybeans and kind of as it is now. Now I know some people think that that's just ridiculous to go someplace else to get a higher price because you're burning all that fuel to drive the extra distance. But, in reality, fuel lasts longer, like, long enough that it does pay, you know, like, let, okay, if there's an elevator that's really close and an elevator that's, you know, clear on the other side of the map, let's say the one that's really close is offering $700 for corn, or even in this case right here. So $787 for corn at the Suncor Energy. But then, if we drive a little farther, it's 826. Now, that's, you know, I mean, it's not a super huge amount more, but it's enough that I'll drive that distance. Now, you know, okay, so it's, let's say, $730 at the one clear across the map and $700 at the one close. Now, when it's like, you know, 700 and 710 then I'll go to the one that's closest just because it's, you know, I mean, it's $10 difference. It doesn't pay to drive all that way. Now, when it's, you know, $30, $40, $50 dollars a ton more or higher, then, yeah, I will, I will drive that distance because it makes more money. You know, fuel, it can last for a while, and a lot of times it's not that... Oftentimes, it's not very expensive to fill fuel in the, you know, implement that I'm filling. So, you know, me personally, I would rather sell to the highest place, even if it is the farthest away, versus selling to the closest place, and that be, you know, maybe it's even the lowest paying place out of all of them. You know, that's, that's just me. I know I've had a lot of people, you know, say things like, 
you know, oh, it's you're just wasting money on fuel to earn a little extra money on the grain and stuff like that. And, you know, I mean, if it was real life, that would be a totally different story, you know, but in a way it's kind of similar in real life. You know, something's, you know, not too super far away, but paying, paying a lot more than close, you know, you'd probably want to sell there. But everybody does things differently, I guess, and I guess this is just the way that I choose to do things. Just about ready to sell this load now. So at this farm you can store, you could store two different types of grain here since there's two bins. I think there's a third one hiding back there. Yeah, I mean. In real life, you would only store two different types of crop in there, or even one between the two bins. But, I mean, technically in Farm Sim, if I wanted to, I could store four or five plus, you know, I could store one of each grain, or a little of each type of grain. So, 19, 8, 14. Okay, so now let's check our prices. Okay, so now it's more worthwhile to sell the Suncor because that's now higher. So we'll be able to sell the last of our grain to Suncor. And then we'll probably sell our wheat to that sell point because it's so much higher paying for wheat. It's almost double of all the other prices. So definitely would much rather sell the wheat here I don't think it's quite as long of a drive either to Suncor from our farm as it is to get to the dairy farm here and actually on the uh, updated version of the map, Suncor isn't there. It's a, uh, or maybe it is, I don't know, but it's a ethanol plant now. I think, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure he just took the Suncor and expanded what it has there. Um, I'm, I don't remember now if it is actually called Suncor Energy or not. But I do remember that, uh, you know, in version 2.1 now, there is a um, big setup there, uh, like a big ethanol plant type thing there, to be able to get wet distiller grain. Uh, so basically, you can dump corn in there, and then it turns it into distillers, and then you can feed it to your animals. Um, so that's one thing. So when we you know, if we ever start on animals again, we do have that. We will have that option to be able to make that. I think it goes with what does that go in addition to? I think it's I think it's the hay and grass. I'm pretty sure is what that was. Um, yeah, I think it was a. Uh, I think it went with the hay and grass. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played on version 2.1. I did some playing on it once, um, but 
never really gone back and done anything on it again. about the only light spot in this map or within the viewing distance right now except for the starry sky which I find pretty cool it would be even cooler if like as you progress through the days the moon got bigger you know and actually like became a full moon at times and stuff that would really be cool be kind of fun to see as well all right so let's just sneak across here we'll go this way versus going through the yard Five thousand liters, so we'll have like two thousand liters left over or something. Which is kinda gonna be annoying, but Oops. I suppose it would help to turn that off. It kinda stinks that you can't like open this menu even when it does have stuff in here but it would make sense but it is still kind of annoying so alright this is the last full load I think we're gonna make a little bit more off of the corn than we did the Oh, oh, that is the entrance. Then we did the uh, soybeans. It's going to be somewhere around that same amount. The wheat, I have a feeling we're going to make a whole lot of money off of. Because, let's see, we made about 50, a little over $58,500 off of soybeans. And we didn't have as much, I don't think there was as many liters of soybeans... Yeah, I don't think there's as much soybeans as there was wheat. So, and plus the price is way higher. We may make mm, close to $100,000 maybe off of uh, the wheat, which would be pretty cool. I mean, even right now we'd still have like 200 and almost two hundred and thirty dollars left over from buying all the new equipment you know if we bought it all right now so I mean we'll be sitting pretty good that's for sure I remember how to get here okay
I do like this sign here. Pretty sure it says, yeah, it's trucks entering highway and then it has the flashing thing on there. I like that. Definitely realistic. Okay, where is the turn? Right there, okay. Oh, that is pretty easy to see. Pretty easy to see. Oof, duh. So we'll have to check our weight. And we can get our grain probed as well. It's the O key. So 20,647 is our weight right now. 20,647. So we'll see what it is when we come back unloaded. Which way do we go? In is this one. That one is blocked off, so we can't sell there. Okay, where is the trigger at? Right there. Alright, we'll see how much we make off of this load here. And it was 18,000... 879 All right now we'll head on over to the uh, scale again and get our empty weight So we were 20,647 I'm just gonna call it pounds uh, loaded and we are 11,063 unloaded so we weighed we weighed 9,584 pounds Not bad. Wait for signal before proceeding. Hmm. All right. So now we'll go back and we'll grab that last few thousand liters. So what did our price drop to? Drop. It's at 7.88. So dropped a. I don't, even, I don't even think it dropped any actually. If it did, it wasn't very much. I, I don't know, I wasn't paying that close of attention, I guess. Probably should have been. Reading and saying too many numbers. I'm losing track. I am also, like, ready to go to bed. So, <laughs> that doesn't help matters any. And it's only just coming up on 5 o'clock, so. Still got about 4 or 5 hours before I'll go to bed. <laughs> so, 
so the timer just went off but we're just gonna keep going until we have all of the corn sold so now I gotta watch for my turn so it's at the church basically turn right at the church not bad a half hour selling three loads will probably be a little longer maybe 35 minutes or so that time we finish selling okay so I gotta find my entrance here where is it where is it, where is it? right there So hard to see things in the dark on here. All right, let's grab this little bit and get on back to the elevator. So what do we got left? 1,991 liters. Much of anything. Alright, pipe in, start filling. So this should be completely empty. That is a 500,000 liter bin. That one's a pretty good sized bin. Alright, so I'm going to pull this right over here. That way I can grab it with the gravity wagon later. Alright, so take the hopper off. Do that. And then we've got to bring the auger all the way down. Perfect. Now, we'll jump back into this. Try and make a U-turn here. All right. So we got 3,991 liters of corn that we can sell, and then we'll be uh, all done. At least with the corn, we still have our wheat to sell, and then we'll be. Uh, through uh, an entire year so when I do start the uh, next series the video titles are going to be uh, season 2 episode you know let's see 30 oh Monday will be what 36 so basically like you know I'm not going to be like season 2 episode 1 it's going to be season 2 episode 36 so basically we're just in season 2 of farming uh, not season 2 of just video so for those that you know not will notice that uh, that is why as I like I said I am gonna name them you know FS 17 UMRV season two, whatever. Cause I think it the title now is FS17 UMRV. Pretty sure. So what I'm gonna do is once we get to the elevator and uh, sell this, then I'll cut the video. I won't keep recording 
um, you know, all the way back to the farm. So then what I'll do after I cut, after I end the video, uh, I'll drive this tractor back to the farm and I'll hook on to the auger and I'll get set up to sell the wheat and then I'll be back once we are ready to load up with the uh, first load. Uh, I'm kind of curious, does this place take wheat? It does not. I guess if it's energy slash ethanol plant, probably wouldn't take wheat. And just because I don't want to drive all the way around again, we're just going to cut across. Alright. So, from that little bit, 3,146 dollars. So, in total, nine, uh, I'm just going to use a calculator quick to make this go by faster. So we had 21,959 for the first load. Second one was 19,814. Third was 18,879. And the final load was 3,146. Grand total of 63, whoops, 63,798 dollars from our corn. So pretty uh, decent amount of money from our corn uh, overall our harvest income has been uh, what nothing huh I find that hard to believe oh it's because I'm looking in the wrong spot I'm used to being like this side is today, but now it's this side. So in total, we've made $122,329. So a pretty decent amount. But that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.